Hi everyone, my name is Iris. I'm coming to you from the east of the Netherlands. I'm living in the town of Bremen and I'm the owner and the dyer of uh, the Dutch yarn barn. Behind me you can see a very the contours of an old Dutch barn. It was built in 1928 and this is where I established my natural dyeing workshop uh, since April of 2019. I am a company for natural dyed Dutch yarns. They are ethically sourced or even they are eco-friendly, eco-organic that is. And I've started uh, dyeing since uh, I think two years now, doing a lot of research on uh, the technical and historical background of uh, natural dyeing. And uh, I started out as a dyer uh, after having had a career as a singer in Bulgarian and world music. Uh, it all, all very, went very quickly because in the past I've had, um, I have studied for uh, singing I was, I should say, a qualified therapist for natural herbal, herbal medicine and traditional Chinese medicine. So I already knew how to, how to extract and infuse and to make uh, my own extractions to die. So I was, I was completely hooked. I, I really had to do this and I have been on a roll since then. I have been dying and dying and dying like crazy. Going to many festivals last year. Unfortunately, alas, this year, Barcelona and it's, it's not gonna happen unless we meet online and that's why I made this little film for you so with the background of the Dutch yarn barn I will show you some of my yarns it's getting quite a bit late so I hope you can still see the colors and this is my original tessel double dutch yarn and you should know that uh, Dutch sheep are not specifically bred for their um, fibers uh, this year I'm very proud of it. I have developed um, my own uh, upgraded uh, uh, yarn with uh, only lamb's wool of Tesselar and with um, uh, Zwartplas and baby alpaca 20%. So this makes for a really beautiful old Dutch. You can see it's just a tiny bit slubby as if it's hand uh, spun but it's not hand spun and this is the natural grey from the Malay fiber of the white and the blue tessellar, the sword bless and the yarn is called dike because the dikes are the embankments that guard the land from the water coming in the water that Many of the sea uh, countries in the Netherlands were inundated year after year, so we had to build a lot of uh, embankments. And this dike yarn I can show you in a beautiful pattern by Natasha Hornby. It knits up a very beautiful structure. Whoops! Yeah, you can see the structure and the texture and at the same time it's incredibly soft and very plump to work with. One very popular uh, sweater knit yarn is my organic merino. It's currently available uh, from my web shop and uh, at the Dutch a uh, famous yarn shop by Stephen and Stephen West, Stephen and Penelope in Amsterdam and this one is a really good sweater knit as well organic merino then there's zwerfsok zwerfsok that means you go on a hike you need good boots good socks and these ones will keep you dry the zwerfsok comes in a, a lot of colors um, my colors keep changing but I do come back to the at this moment, the pastels, 
and the light ones because obviously now is summer. Yeah, Sversok. These are my yarns and I hope uh, you will meet me online or maybe at Instagram or at Facebook. And yeah, see you there. Maybe in 2021, maybe we see each other live or in another festival. Who knows? Thanks for your time. Bye.